The tweel structure itself is relatively simple. We have rubber compounds in the tread band, as well as some cable reinforcement. Then we have a polyurethane uh, compound for the spokes, and then we have an aluminum wheel. But then once it's all made, it really is one single component. It's one mounted assembly. And you can compare this to uh, the current pneumatic tire in which we have basically five components. First you have the tire, then you have the wheel, you have to have air, you have a valve, and now we're adding a pressure monitor. So basically what we've invented here is one mounted assembly, which is one component that replaces five components. With the new invention, we don't have to worry about uh, air inflation pressure. We don't have to worry about uh, uh, retention, bead unseating. That gives us a, a great deal more design freedom. We can have a, a flexible wheel. Uh, we have complete technical control between uh, the, everything that's between the, the axle and the ground. Owners of skid steer loaders lose productivity daily due to flat tires. Wheels will eliminate this problem because of their damage tolerance while providing the compliance, comfort, and mobility of pneumatic tires. And they'll do that without weighing as much as the equivalent solid tires often used in these applications. Uh, they can also, it turns out, give better wear life, better comfort, and machines can actually work faster. Today we're on the second loop of field testing with wheels with real customers and we've tested them in uh, the US, in France, in Italy, in the Netherlands. So after the first loop we fixed the problems that the customers found with the wheels and we're running a second loop to see what new problems they might find. The US military has recently begun organizing new combat formations that make extensive use of wheeled vehicles. The key characteristic of tweels in military applications is their lack of a single point failure mode. Tweels can suffer multiple penetrations from bullets or artillery fragments and can continue to provide adequate mobility. Perhaps the most surprising capability of tweels is their ability to survive and continue to work despite being exposed to direct blast effects. When exposed to the 250 gram TNT equivalent of the largest anti-personnel mines, twills continued to work. And when they were doing that, they also directed the blast energy of the landmine away from the vehicle, unlike other solutions where the blast energy comes up through the tire and is deposited into the vehicle and its occupants. Military vehicles using our TWEEL technology will be more effective, less costly, and more capable of completing their missions than any other solution uh, available in the marketplace today. In order to better understand the future blocking points, we've gone ahead now to take a look at how the TWEEL would do on today's Audi A4. The Audi application for Twills is really a stretch application. All our applications to this point have been slow speed, low speed applications, but the Audi, of course, is a high speed application, very demanding automotive application. So one of our objectives was to see if we could reach the mass and rolling resistance levels of the pneumatic tire. And these Twills are within about 5% of the pneumatic tire levels, which is pretty, pretty impressive.